Hello everyone, welcome to Water Structural for UPSC Examination. In today's video, we are going to see the important topic called the petiole. As you know, petiole is a very important morphological part of the leaf in the plants as well as when it modifies, it does the very specialized functions in the plants. So, before starting the video, I request you to join the Telegram channel of the same name that is the Botany Structural channel for UPSC Examination on the Telegram platform. There we regularly upload the PDFs plus link of these videos so that you will not miss any update relating with the Botany channel. All right. So let's learn about the petiole. Now, first of all, let's get clear about what is petiole. As you know, every plant has a certain kinds of leaves, and these leaves are made up of three parts. The very first part is the leaf base. This is a leaf base in the plants, and above this leaf base, this stalk you find this stalk is called as the petiole. And after the petiole, here we have the main lamina so the three parts the leaves have are the leaf base petiole and lamina and out of this petiole is present between the leaf base and the lamina that is it is a connecting part of leaf base plus the lamina all right so you can observe in these pictures that there are different kinds of the petioles you are you are seeing in this picture all these petioles are of a different varying length plus they have the different colors so this structure which looks like a stalk and it connects the leaf base with the lamina that structure is called as the petiole all right so observing each and every picture you will find there is a there is a leaf stalk which is called the petiole all right so all these are the petioles of the leaves now there may be the petiolate leaves or the sessile leaves now what is mean by that if the petiole is present such as you can see in the picture number one this petiole is present in this leaf then such a leaf is called as the petiolate leaf and if the petiole is absent in leaf then it is called as sessile leaves as you can observe in this second picture which is a calotropis picture in this picture you will see there is a no petiole at the leaf base and due to the lacking of the petiole these leaves are called as the sessile leaves and when the leaves possess the petiole then such a leaves are called as the petiolate leaves so depending upon whether petiole is absent or present there are two kinds of leaves first is petiolate leaves and second is the sessile leaves when petiole is present it is called the petiolate leaves and if the petiole is absent then it is called as the sessile leaves all right now petiole may be the cylindrical or the hollow that is it may be solid from inside or it may be hollow from inside now most in majority of the cases the petiole is solid and that is why it is called as the cylindrical petiole while in certain cases such as the in papaya this is a papaya plant and you find the very larger petiole here and these petioles are hollow that is they are not filled internally with any material they are completely hollow and that is why there may be two kinds of petioles such as the cylindrical and hollow and for hollow petiole the example is an papaya all right now let us consider the types of the petiole there are four types of petioles basically first is wing petiole second is tendrilar petiole third one is phyllode petiole and fourth one is floating petiole as you know these types are based upon how the petiole gets modified to do a certain particular function and that is why the petiole is grouped under these four types of petiole that is wing tendricular phyllode and floating petiole now let us consider these types one by one now the very first is wing petiole as you can observe in this picture this is a picture of a citrus lemon and in this citrus lemon leaves you can clearly observe here see the petiole how it modifies into the wing shaped structure that is this these two structures looks like a two wings and that is why it is called as the wing petiole and it is more often found in the citrus plant this is a picture of a citrus lemon and here you can observe how the petiole get modified into the wing like structure so this is the first type of petiole that is the wing petiole which is found in the citrus plants and add it has a wing like structure and that is why it is called as the wing petiole all right now second type of petiole is an tendricular petiole now observe in this nepenthes picture the leaves has the tendricular petiole now the very function of this tendrils is to climb that is with the help of these petioles, the nephanthus plants try to clean or connect to the in order to have the mechanical support for the standing upright. So, tendricular petiole, which is found in the nephanthus plants, is used for the climbing 
and standing upright. All right. Now the next type of the petiole we have here is a phyllode petiole. Now this type of petiole can be found in the acacia plants. Now in acacia plants, you can observe here. This is an petiole and how it get modified into a phyllode like structure. Now this petiole being green in color, it performs the function of photosynthesis. That is the petiole is mainly involved in the process of photosynthesis and that is why it is turned completely into the green color. So you can observe how the petiole got modified to do an extra functions in the plants and such a petiole is called as the phyllode petiole which is often found in the acacia plants. Now the next type of petiole is an floating petiole. This type of petiole can be found in the aquatic plants and it has a very specific function. Now this is a picture of a trapa which is an aquatic plant and observe the petioles in these trapa plants. You will find the petiole is modified and get the bulky shape. Now observe this bulky shape of these petioles in these trapa plants. These are largely used for the aeration purposes. That is the air is filled in these petioles and due to the filling of air in these petioles, these plants can easily float on the water surface. So the petiole in trapa or the aquatic plants is modified in such a way that it may contain the much air which is stored in these petioles and it helps the plant to float on the water. So this is a four type of the petiole which is a floating petiole. An example for this is an trapa. Now let us consider the functions of the petiole. The very first is it extends the lamina. As you can observe in this picture, see the pet due to this petiole, it has extended this lamina to the far away. Now what is the application of this? When the petiole is long enough to take the lamina away from the plant body, it will reach to, towards the light and it will not remain under the shade of the other leaves. So the very basic and very very important function done by the it extends the lamina away from the main plant body which helps the plant to get the more extra sunlight and due to which performs photosynthesis maximally. So the very first function petiole does is that it extends the lamina. The second function it does is a transport of water and minerals. As you can observe this is a, from to the main stem this leaves are connected and through this petiole the all the minerals and nutrients go towards the leaf and whenever there is a photosynthetic product which is present in the leaf it is again transported back into the stem and to the other parts of plant body through the petiole so petiole also helps in the transport of water and minerals throughout the plant body the third function they perform is that they modify for floating climbing and photosynthesis as we have seen that petiole is modified in the nephanthus for the climbing for floating in the trapa and for the photosynthesis in the acacia so when the petiole gets modified it it does a special types of functions and without modification it also has advantage of extending lamina and transport of mineral and nutrients so these are three are the basic functions of the petiole all right so thank you very much for watching this video please like the video please share this video with your friends who are studying the botany and if you have any doubt please make sure to comment in a comment box and if you haven't subscribed to the botany option channel yet please subscribe to the botany option channel for upsc examination Again, thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next one.